Well, 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 this is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and we are going to talk today about the amazing world of creating things on a CNC machine. And we are going to talk about CNC routers today. It's, there are so many different ways to do this kind of stuff. You know, with CNC machines, there's lasers, etchers, laser cutters, plasma cutters, milling machines, 3D printers, CNC is an amazing world where just new stuff is coming along all the time. We're creating all kinds of new things. But this is about CNC routers, and this is for the beginner who is really getting interested in this concept of creating stuff from a simple block of wood. And by the time you're done, you're like, look, honey, what I made and the pride that you feel for creating something and the journey to get there. You know, it's a learning curve, right? If you have never, ever touched a CNC router before and you're looking at videos and listening to podcasts about making all this amazing stuff, you can absolutely do it. And you can make money off of it, too. That's a different animal, but that's what I teach. I teach the CNC routers for beginner all things, tooling, how to make your cuts, how the machine runs, all the different aspects of programming, uh, the, the design programming, VCarve specifically, but I am starting to teach other softwares as well. You can find me on YouTube, IDC Woodcraft. So I, uh, yeah. Um, I also have a Facebook group called CNC Entrepreneurs because that's the other thing I love to teach is entrepreneurialism. I love to teach this little person, little guy, right? You and me, how to make money with a CNC machine because it is so incredibly possible. People buy all kinds of crazy, amazing, beautiful things. And if you just look around, go, go to Etsy. Etsy, right? Etsy's got some, some uh, a wealth of things that people make that, is amazing and as i talk to other people who buy off of etsy it just blows me away what what people buy and I mean, it blows me away in a good way because that means that you can get ultra creative and just come up with your own thing your own flavor and make it and get it on something like etsy or create a facebook group uh, advertise on facebook make youtube channel videos do podcasts like i do I, as a matter of fact that's, that's one of the things i'm going to start teaching people how to do too is do podcasts because you know if you want to take this skill the cnc magic world of creation and get it out there and start to make money doing this stuff that you just love doing that's the way you do it you know you take pictures of what you make and post it on your facebook or in a facebook group if you're in one or if you're not on facebook just do it you know that's where people are at that's where everybody's looking and um that's just kind of the way it goes and as people see you creating this amazing stuff, it just gets so... <laughs> that's how I got my first income. In fact, that's how most people who get into the CNC uh, world of lasers or plasma cutters and routers, that's how they usually make their first buck. They just start posting pictures of what they're doing. Even though their, their projects, their first projects, you know, they, they never come out that great, right? But... What people see is you creating something. They start getting ideas in their minds going, hey, I want something like that. And then they'll approach you because they see you doing it. And there's a relationship, right? This is the, the important aspect about creating a business is relationships. It's like here when I'm talking to you. You know, I feel like I'm with you, sharing with you all this this passion and this joy of wanting to share what I, what I you know, that the, the, uh, waking that inventive creative self up inside of you and seeing the light in your eyes just sparkle as as you just the imagination runs amok <laughs> yeah runs amok into all the things you can do you know the tough part about doing this stuff though is narrowing down because most of us people who are in cnc the ideas just come endlessly and you just want to make all kinds of stuff and and when it comes to earning an income you have to kind of zero down and do a few things. So it's important to find the, the niche that you are passionate about. Like for me, I love the Jeep Wrangler. And so I put a lot of energy in Jeep Wrangler uh, products and I communicate with them. I know their language. You know, what is your niche? What is it that you love to do? Maybe you like to make candles. 
you know, you got a group there. Maybe you make candle holders that are that are um, like that kind that nobody else makes, right? This is the creative side where where you get connect with people like me and say, I do this, I do that, I, and, and this is my hobby. And how can I do this with a CNC machine? And and our brains will mesh together and turn into a third mind. They call it masterminded, and we will come up with some off the wall ideas that that are so far out there that people just can't can't stay away from that kind of stuff you know that's how it works and that's why i created the cnc entrepreneurs facebook group so people could start to mastermind in fact i am getting ready to start webinars that will uh help people uh help them get on their journey and give them the guidance and uh because being in the world of entrepreneurialism having your own journey doing your own thing is like so liberating I literally walked off my job a couple of years ago I'm 59 years old so I'm not retirement age and I swore to myself I was going to make it one way or another doing what I love to do and it, it didn't matter the the, the the need for security didn't matter more what mattered more was the need to feel content like I was fulfilled in what I was doing and that as much as I enjoyed my engineering work at one time, I just, you know, just it dried up. There wasn't anything left. And so I don't know if you're in a place like that, but uh, if you are, you know, feel free to, to follow me here. And you can go to my YouTube channel, IDC Woodcraft. You can go to the, my website, www.idcwoodcraft.com. Uh, www and I need to start a forum. What do you think? Just start a forum. Well, that's why I got the Facebook group, CNC for Entrepreneurs. But I really want to start making this a very personal journey for people like you, where we can connect people to people. You know, that's what people want these days. The the big box stuff is kind of it's just it's just you know we're we're all in it. There's no relationship in it. And that's why I so endorse the little guy, the small business, and am so passionate about helping. The little guy people like you who are just just want to do it you know what i promise you can do this a lot of people are scared going out on their own i was in the beginning i really was i didn't know uh, and it's just like breaking comfort zone after comfort zone after comfort zone and it really took my mentor to to get there you know the mentor is the one that's going to push you past the comfort zone because obviously <laughs> i can't do it on my own and i think a lot of people are, can't do it on their own without the trusted guide at their back that says go ahead and do it you'll be okay i promise and, and they're not going to think that you're that you look stupid they're going to be patting you on the back for taking that leap of faith into something that you're afraid to do and that's why i've started mentoring services to mentor the this person who wants to get into a business with a cnc machine and guide them through the learning curve of the of the equipment and at the same time start learning how to turn it into a business it takes time it takes patience and it takes the consistency of someone who's been there who really cares for what you want you know that's where i'm at right it's like i've seen my success in so many different areas and i've learned so much of my life and now what i want to do most is give to you and to help you get there you know, because that's, that's in the end, that's just what it's about. It's about the joy of giving and the reward of seeing someone else grow. Yeah, it's like the, the spiritual wholeness and happiness of life and, and all its glory, helping others. So CNC routers, let's, I mean, let's talk about it for a little bit. What can you make with these things? You know, it's, you, you see it, go, go to YouTube, do this. Go to YouTube and type in CNC router projects. And you'll see some crazy, crazy stuff, right? It's beautiful, amazing stuff. And it takes a little bit to work there. I'll tell you what my favorite is, and I've done this, is etch on glass, right? I, I take a diamond engraver and I etch on glass. So I'll do a little design work in the software, V-Carve, which I'll be more than happy to teach you on. And we'll go to my YouTube channel, IDC Woodcraft, and <laughs> there's plenty of videos there that teach you how to use it. But uh, you'll also learn about the design concepts and how to get creative with it. But anyway, I will take these amazing drawings and fix them up and 
engrave them on glass and then I'll uh, side light them with LEDs and put some black paper on the back and you wouldn't believe how these things come out. I did one, this was actually a challenge. I took my daughter's, uh, the sonogram of her third son, Maddox, who unfortunately passed away 20 days after he was born. And I designed up a sonogram off of the original image and engraved it on glass and it came out absolutely beautiful. So you probably want to look, uh, well, yeah, just go to my uh, YouTube channel on my website. I've got, uh, I'm still building it, but uh, I've got stuff there about projects and things like that that you can download for free. I sell vector files and projects on Etsy. Not just Jeep related stuff like I was talking about before, but you know, coming back to that, I know I'm going talking kind of crazy, but coming back to that, you know, this niche thing, what is it that you love? Are you a hiker? Do you love to camp? Or are you into firearms? Or maybe you're into makeup, you know, making soap, cooking, cars. Maybe you already have a business that you can tap into this industry in a very unique way to create something that will complement your business. What about real estate? You can make stuff for realtors, say <laughs> cutting boards, right? You get a $4 cutting board from the dollar store. You engrave on it some kind of personalized message for a buyer of a house. And the realtor would say, would tell you what, what to put on there. And the realtor buys the cutting board for 40 bucks from you. A $4 cutting board, some design time, some cutting time, and some finish work. And then there you have it. And you've sold it for 40 bucks to a realtor who's giving a home housewarming gift to someone who just bought a house. So that's just one of the simple little ways you can do it. And cutting boards, like I said, $4 at the dollar store. Seems kind of cheesy, maybe. You buy a $4 cutting board. But you personalize it, right? That's the personalization that counts. Speaking of personalization, um, on my website, it's a private page where you can get the top words that sell. If you think about it, people are buying words all the time. That may sound kind of strange to you at the moment. Think about it. Welcome is always on the front of people's houses. Inside is typically home, the word home, and people love to label their rooms, kitchen and laundry, sometimes bathroom. So think about it. It's, it's that crazy. And names. Names are, are, are a huge hot commodity, especially when it comes to baby names. You, and they're very easy to make. So on my website, there would be a link where you can sign up to get that list and access to those files and discounts as I get them. I am working diligently to get discounts on CNC router tools. And uh, there's actually a list of all the tools you need. If you were just decided to buy a machine, you have to buy some tools. And I want to help you do that as economically as uh, possible and get good quality stuff at the same time. So you definitely want to go to my website and sign up for that. So if you are one of those ones who just wants to get into the CNC um, world to create and you see the potential, you see that creative juice within you and it's like you just want to do it, you know, take the plunge. Take the plunge. If you're not sure, you buy an inexpensive machine, but don't buy something off of Amazon. Don't buy something off of eBay for the two reasons that, number one, there's rarely support behind it because you do run into problems with these things that you really need to support. And number two is they're, those are typically made in China. They're small and you will find quickly that you want to upsize your machine. So I will give you recommendations as well. Well, I have enjoyed talking to you today as a uh, someone who wants to give to you all my knowledge because I want to see the, the beautiful creations that, that are so dying to come out of you. All right, so this is Garrett, IDC Woodcraft. Go to my YouTube channel, IDC Woodcraft, and my website, www.idcwoodcraft.com. And by the way, IDC stands for Imagine It, Design It, and Create It. 
and oh yeah and i'll get on other platforms oh yeah uh cnc entrepreneurs facebook group sign up for that the people on there are amazing and it's just growing exponentially crazy have yourself a most awesome day and let's make things happen for you